Hello fam tribe, welcome back to Empress Light, it's me Tony, back with a set of channel tarot card messages for you guys today. I want to get into a new type of reading for you guys today, this is going to be a spiritual update in regards to the collective, um, just to see what's going on, again this is something that I test out, I noticed over the past couple years that there are different YouTubers that have um, like side channels where they ask different questions, right? They channel celebrities, energies, or they just ask random questions about remote viewing or like the shadow government, the Illuminati, all that type of stuff. Really, when I started really getting into tarot as well, I was getting a lot of um, clear downloaded messages in regards to like shadow governments, the Illuminati, right? Uh, I was having all types of clairvoyant dreams in regards to like random shootings and just world events and that type of stuff. and. Um, yeah, it does. It kind of annoys me and it kind of bothers me. Like, that's one thing. Like, if I'm going to have a gift to be psychic, right, to be clairvoyant, <laughs> I don't always, like, feel comfortable seeing negative stuff coming before it happens, right? Before we even got the news in regards to Hawaii, I sat outside and I was doing a reading and I just got this big, gigantic thunderclap in the middle of the reading. I think this might have been a reading that I did last week. Um, so I'm not even sure when the Hawaii news took place, but yeah, I'm going to be channeling Hawaii today to see if I can pull any messages, um, through the cardomancy to try to get a better understanding of what's going on. And then that's the thing too, right? We've had people that have done these things in the past, right? Alistair Crowley was a part of, I don't think the, the FBI, but he was a part of the British intelligence, right? We had Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet, right? Who foretold, like, like, Nostradamus itself that foretold all these events that were going to happen some that haven't even happened yet and sometimes psychics can be off right um, it's something that people haven't been able to been uh, haven't been able to prove yet other than things that have been proven um, we even had Sylvia Brown right in the uh, in the 80s and the 90s that was helping people um, with her gifts right um, and yeah, even like I said, even now, I know a few tarot readers, a few energy readers, oracle readers, uh, motivational speakers um, that really talk about that type of stuff now when it comes up in the readings and it's just like, okay, what the heck? Okay, so one mistake I made was coming out here with no shirt on. <laughs> this is prime mosquito time. But yeah, so I'm going to try to channel some messages through the cardomancy today. To see if I can get any clarification about what's going on recently. Ironically, yesterday I actually watched like an hour and a half long video uh, on Alex Jones. You know, he's one of the biggest whistleblowers of our time. And yeah, he, even him himself, right? He, he talks about a lot of this stuff um, that's going on, right? I'm even starting to learn about Blu-ray, like, um, what is it? Blu-ray star seeds. Right, we had the Indigo Star Seeds, like myself, um, that come to heal the collective, and the Indigo Star Seeds. I'm sorry, the the blue lights are kind of more of like um, they're like whistleblowers and stuff like that. But yeah, I definitely want to get into some channel messages. I may actually have to go and get a uh, get my shirt though, because I can already feel the mosquitoes eating me. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of wanted to do a reading today based on that type of energy um and really quick nothing extended i just wanted to get some quick messages so this is kind of like a blend or like uh a half and half of me doing like sort of like a motivational speech or chat or just like an update and we're gonna pull some messages as well sure Man, I forgot I had African movies playing on in the background. <laughs> the Bollywood move movement is uh, it's pretty serious, right? <laughs> it's just like Hollywood. Hollywood's being revamped into Black Hollywood. Over in Atlanta, we got uh, some of the most important places in the country. CDC, uh, Black Hollywood, Tyler Perry is created. 
There's so much expansion going on in Atlanta. But yeah, so now I don't have a long sleeve shirt, but hopefully they don't get my arms. But yeah, and this is the thing too. Like you think it's, and this is Hawaii, and this and this is what initially pissed me off because it's like, although Hawaii um, is separated from the continent by Canada, like that's still part of the United States. Like that's still your own people. Like you can't go and help Hawaii, but yet you can go over to Africa and have your nose in Africa's business in any other country over the world. You have the audacity to go and have your nose in any in everyone else's business. But you won't take care of your own people. And see, this is where people have to get it, where people get it mixed up and they get shit twisted. Because just like the way they've done black people for over 400 years, I won't say that we built this whole country because it took an amalgamation of people. But without black people, this country would not have been built. And whatever they do to black people, they can do who are the strongest people, in my opinion. Once they master whatever they're, they're trying to do to black people, they could turn around and do it to everyone else because they see them as subpar or weaker. Not my words, but black DNA is the strongest DNA. We're the original people. It's even um, something that people are trying to prove now to say that the slaves that are that were brought over here were the strongest people of Africa, right? That's how they were able to survive through the Middle Passage uh, being on this whole uh, bert, boat journey across the ocean in the first place, right? The, the ones that made it here was the ones that had the highest survival protocol or highest uh, survival rate, right? They had strong DNA, right? Um, but yeah, <laughs> so it's again, it's like, and this is what's going on with the Hawaiians, right? The Samoans right now, like, they shoot black men down in the street every day. Who do you think's next? <laughs> The Spanish folk, the Mexicans, who do you think's next after them? The Asians, who do you think they're coming out, uh, coming after next? The Islanders, like this country is always at war with themselves, or like it's so much that could be done on a positive note. And I talk about, I talk about this um, to people in my everyday life. Like you're so good at doing something bad, but when it comes to doing something good, you don't know what you're doing. Like you don't know how to solve the homeless epidemic or pandemic. But you know how to go to war, though, right? You know how to uh, drop. You know how to um, drop guns and drugs off into a particular neighborhood so that the people drive themselves crazy, right? You know how to do that. But you have no government programs for free health care like Canada, right? <laughs> you 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 need all these guns and all these weapons to subjugate your own citizens, unlike the UK, right, where they barely have any guns. It's just so weird. So yeah. Um, Hawaii is, yeah, it's a part of the United States. It's supposed to be a part of <laughs> North America, right? This great country that we call North America. But let's get into it. I'm going to stop rambling before I randomly get shot. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, messages uh, in regards to what's going on. Spirit, can I have um, some world news, some messages about world news in regards to what's going on with Hawaii? Any messages that I can channel uh, to help out the collective, bring some clarification, bring an eye to this situation or an ear to this situation or whatever, however I can use my gifts at this time. Meanwhile, I'm over here battling mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, my fault, because I could have sprayed myself down with like some off or brought, brought like an insect repellent candle out here. Like I purchased these things and I don't even use them. <laughs> But yeah, let's get into it. What's the messages for the collective at this time that's concerned with Hawaii? Right? What's going over in Maui? Our brothers and sisters worldwide. What's the messages, Spirit? Can I have messages about what's going on over in Hawaii at this time? I'm trying to interpret these messages the best way I can. Again, this is going to be a short reading because I have limited time here. I don't want to do too much. Grounding the message today is the sun card. Hmm. In regards to what's going on. Oh. Yeah, in regards to what's going on in Hawaii, we got the grounding message is the sun card. I don't know how to I don't know how to take that yet, but it uh, kind of reminds me of children. Right? Now, if you can control the children, you can control the future. I was literally just watching this documentary an hour ago on the whole Trayvon Martin situation and they, uh, after all this time, 
they interviewed his mom and his mom was like that was everything to me that was my son right and in the way she said it was kind of the way that i explain the son all the time she's like that wasn't just my um my s-u-n that was my s-o-n right the son the children so if these children don't have land or they don't have culture right they it, they want to just burn down villages and stuff so that they can come behind and and build skyscrapers and just random businesses a walmart in hawaii like no one needs that we need to preserve our culture the aid of bubbles this is detachment or walking away from this situation this could be abandonment from the political system right the united states which hawaii is a part of right north america it's what the 50th or the 49th state this could be abandonment or this could be those people abandoning they have no choice but to walk away from this situation emotionally right love what they have been connected to for years for centuries right this is the same thing that happened to the native uh, native americans see we have to stop these things we have to stop uh allowing the police to shoot down black men in the middle of the street throw them in jail for the rest of their lives and all this other type of stuff that they want to do <laughs> because again af after i'm dead who do you think they're coming after 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 next okay fourth bubbles resting meditation so a lot of people are seeking out guides or um this is like ooh, the eight of bubbles and then the four of bubbles coming out next this is like um being overwhelmed emotionally and not knowing what to do next so this could be a, a resting moment in regards to the emotions or meditation yeah or possibly refusing help yeah these people don't they're so what i'm getting is kind of like refusing help from the government they probably turned down some sort of a business proposition that the united states was originally trying to give them or something like that so they caused this would be like someone filing um filing for like like a, someone's house burned down and then they get paid insurance for it but then you later found out that that person actually uh caused that fire this is something so this is it's what seems like this could have happened here in regards to what happened in hawaii this could have been business going wrong uh what else do we have we have the two of uh, man these mosquitoes are like there's like three mosquitoes on one leg yeah it goes along with the channeling this is certain political systems uh being pests to other uh groups or sects of society all right but we have the two of ember so yeah this is distance this is the united states or all of us here uh watching at a distance of what's going over going on over in hawaii right and wands are about fire right that's the passion mm -hmm. there could be a lot of a lot of a lot of things going on a lot of plans going on behind closed doors a lot of people trying to be ambitious about certain things there could be a lot of swatting going on as well this would be like people trying to open up uh businesses um but they're being swatted right that's that's something that happened to streamers that are gamers so again, this is similar in energy, right? Everyone, um, this is like how they got rid of a lot of the small businesses during COVID, right? Only the big businesses were bailed out. Mm -hmm. Dang, man. So spirituality, enlightenment, this is definitely a hold up moment. So there's a lot of um, pausing energy here. This is gonna be a moment for people to reflect, uh, possibly reach back out to their spirituality. That's probably gonna help them remember again with the haiti they try to make it seem that voodoo is something weird even here in the united states they try to make it seem that like black people that was practicing hoodoo spirituality that was weird but remember the haitians got their freedom uh, through their spirituality through their um their originality right when they uh won wars against the british navy 200 years ago Yeah, I won't be doing this again. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Your last message. The two of storms. Yeah, there's no, there's not really any answers here. This is a lot of miscommunication. This is people not being able to see their, their way through the smoke. This is indecision. Some people don't want to leave their homes or where they come from, right? There's a lot of deep-seated, um, a lot of deep-seated family ties in certain situations yeah you can imagine it like these people have to imagine what if 
these same people that they're subjugating came into their neighborhoods, came into, you know, again, going back to that Killmonger scene when he went to that British Museum. And he's like, do you know where your people got these artifacts from? They stole this from black folks' ancestors, right? So, son, the hermit. So, yeah, this is going to be a moment of deep introspection, right? Relearning yourself again. We're gonna have to pay very close to details and keep a watchful eye what's going on here There was definitely I Mean the Sun could represent the fire right or the two of wands could represent the fire again us watching Hawaii burn from a distance 22 synchronicities yeah, people are still trying to figure out what's going on I mean you'll never know just like the Tuskegee experiments we figured that it's true But we'll never know for sure, right? <laughs> there the evidence is there like people like the justice system and this is so what's wrong with this country you can literally have uh proof to show that you're innocent but in their courts in their system they're still going to do whatever they want to do right this is black ops missions this is sabotage here yeah what's under the hermit judgment yeah this is a judgment moment coming towards the collective or coming towards hawaii or for whoever this is, whoever is taking part in this situation, right? This is someone making their presence be known. This could be like a um, a speech or something like that as well. But that's all I want to read for right now because I gotta get out of here. It's mad mosquitoes. Um, don't want to do a break deck message. I do. What's the break deck message for the collective at this time? Yeah, like talking about Russia and. Who they're in war with like there's all there's wars all around us going and you don't even know like Kanye said it's a war going on outside we ain't safe from <laughs> right break that message seven of bubbles yes yeah, a smoke screen this is money like there's no answers coming out right now it's a mystery it's a smoke screen right this is hidden intelligence this is lies deceit it would be seen as having uh, multiple options, but what options? I don't see any options here. I just see confusion. <laughs> All right. This is, yeah, the coming to Jesus moment, right? Jesus, the hangman, being uh, sacrificed or being uh, placed.